Intrate A3v3 Valderis Refinery Blue Team. We've got Phoenix plays an Eldar Warlock melee commander that leaps into combat, very good disruption and mobility, can also tank damage pretty well alongside. Adila plays a Chaos Sorcerer offensive and disruptive commander, lots of great manipulation and control abilities, fights in melee combat to begin with. And rounding off the blue team is Uncle Milty playing a Plague Champion, starts off range combat with this damage of a Time Bolter, can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair, but it's very slow. Red team. It's Whitehead1981 as a Grey Knight Brother Captain taking shots from this Plague Champion as he caps here. Durable Commander that walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Very good offense and support. Fights in melee combat, sending his strike squad in to put pressure on there. Alongside Kasuke plays a Commander Knob, infiltrating Commander that shoots you, stabs you, and blows you up. Orky style begins range combat with this Twin Link shooter. And rounding off the red team is Myrodal playing a Farseer support commander that fights in melee combat, lots of great buffs with some debuffs and control abilities too. Looks like it's an Eldar mirror over on this east side, Farseer versus the Warlock. A decent fight over there. Banshee's in trouble though from Phoenix, but they do get away just about, do they? Farseer trying to finish them off in retreat. But they do get away. Myrodal is one of the guys who works on actually updating the mod now so big shout out to him does a lot of good work west side grey knights versus chaos classic matchup over here double heretics for uncle milty this squad just about getting away chaos space marines in between a champion might be a bit reliant on his raptors if whitehead gets a whole bunch of stormtroopers nope he's going for a purgation squad Strike squad back at base, brother captain coming back out there. Kasuke with double shooters pushing through the mid against Adila, who's having to back off. As you can see, he's trying to keep some field presence here to make sure the power doesn't get hit and it works. These guys backing away. Warlock coming back into play. Going for some rangers. Myrodal going for a shuriken cannon weapon platform. Havoc's on the way for Milty. Purgation might struggle to get into play here if they're suppressed early might not be able to get into range of the heretics to burn them up these guys with grenade launchers with some Nurgle worship worshiping a bit too close there though there's the grenade barrage but it's well dodged by Whitehead these guys now need to back away you see the we are the hammer buff on these guys that's the starting ability of the brother captain ouch lots of heretics dying to these grenade launchers trying to Grenade Barrage, this melee squad, what is he doing? Sending these guys in here, Uncle Milty, that was very, very risky. Did they get away? Chased down by those wrist-mounted storm bottles, looks like they do get away. Now Havoc's coming into play and suppressing the strike squad. And our brother captain who's gonna go down, I think. Kind of damage over time, finish him off. He does start with a thousand hit points. 29 hit points does get away, in fact, just about. Went down to 16, 11, 5, maybe doesn't, no he doesn't. There's that. Damage of a time coming into play and kill space me shooting him up as well, I think. Wow, he went down. I thought it was definitely going to get away there. Strat Squad also losing a model. Good start for the red team, though. In terms of VP, he's going to get a triple cap here. Myodel has his shuriken capping. Havoc suppressing the command knob who runs away. Might see a grenade or maybe not. Farsi into combat. Has a special attack there going off. Really good specials he has. Look at that. Quick animation. 360 not back. Triple cap for red team, still, and she fleets away. Blue team taking red team's natural though. White head under pressure early on. Grey not just disrupting them, but not off the cap. He might get a model here though. Gonna be unlucky not to get a model. Can they get into combat and smack them once? But yes, they can. Brother Captain got a hit in and got a model. Brother Captain is back on his feet, incidentally, of course. Purgation going for Power Bash, and they might pay for it with a squad loss. Yes, they do. Ouch. It was really, really risky to go for a Power Bash there without making sure your opponent's off the field. And Stormtrooper was almost worked as well. Whitehead not having the best of times early on. How is he going to recover? Obvious choice is more Stormtroopers, but we, he might go for some Interceptors here to try and get in amongst that Havoc squad quickly and get some squad wipes. You can counter it quite easily with just your brother Captain, get his Force Sword and run in, but if you want to kill it, I think 
interceptors or stormtroopers are your best bet. Storm boys, wow, bleeding like crazy for Kisuke, but they do get away. Sorcerer with the vestments of the warp for Adila. Has a havoc of his own back at base though. And still tons and tons of pressure on this side of the map for Blue Team to deal. We have double rangers for Phoenix, which could help greatly. That long range disruption of bleeding models as well. Well, they're getting caught, and there is Mind War from the Ghost Helm of the Farseer, which is actually modelled on her character, which is pretty cool. Forcing off the Sorcerer there. Here comes the rest of Adila stuff, but so much pressure here. 327 500, are they finally going to force off the red team? You see, that was a bit overzealous from Kasuke. He, he could have kept these guys in play, I think, if he was a bit more careful. And that, how you lose 3v3s is when all players are off the field and the map just gets flooded and capped up by the other team. Uncle Milty pushing through and bashing power here. Can Whitehead defend? He's got interceptors. There's the teleport. And they do good damage, these guys. 327485. What are these guys? They're not retreating at all. Havoc's taking a really long time to retreat. They're losing two models. That was fortunate, but very good for Whitehead. Heretics moving in now. The strike squad there and the brother captains there. Stormtroopers backing away. And Uncle Multi got himself in a bit of a bad position and retreats out. Interceptors in retreat path. Try and get some model losses off the heretics. Get one. And that's all. 327, 466. Two ton cap for the blue team. So they've weathered the storm here, and did they get a power bash? I don't think they did, the red team, I don't think they did. Double rangers taking shots with these guys behind these shields. Really good counter to snipers. Range fire cannot get through these shields at all. But if they continue to take that range fire, they will go down and have to recharge, and you can destroy them, obviously, including just walking over them with a crushing unit. Interceptors now have a blood crusher to fight. A demon with vehicle armor. Some really good single target DPS and good mobility as well. Has a couple of nice abilities. Can charge and let out a demonic roar. Stuff going on in the background. That's Stormboys in retreat losing a model. Wraith Guard on the way for Myrdal and Whitehead is the last to go tier 2. Uncle Milty putting the pressure on with this blood crusher right out the gate. You can really pile on the pressure in tier 2. You have a strong tier 1. He must have known he was getting to tier 2 first and now he's bashing power again. Plague Champion getting his Plague Sword up. That's going to punish those Interceptors. Has Fetid Armor as well for Vindicare Assassin for Whitehead. Might make really short work of the blood crusher, especially if you can buff that guy up. 301462 power bash now for sure from red team and they're decapping here blue team under all sorts of pressure it's Uncle Milty keeping them ticking over here Phoenix losing one of his rangers he's got a Wraith Lord on the way Adila with some blood letters play champion decapping getting icon of Nurgle interceptors now need to be so very very careful they have their grenades but they don't really want to fight that Plague Champion. He can really kick some ass with this melee resistance, ignoring Plague Sword. So it's going to be doing 40% extra damage to units that have melee resistance, which is most Marines and most, well, all melee units. This Plague Sword, of course, also gives you zombies when you kill a model with it. It's leveling to three. Interceptor's just about getting away. Had a touch of Nurgle on his heretics, but I don't think he even needed that. Almost finishes them off. These guys now going after the Vindicare Assassin, are they? No, he does get away. 279462. Blood Letters. Really the worst nightmare for Wraith God. Basically jumping on them with those power weapons. Really good melee skill as well. And they force them off there, even with the Farseer trying to poke them to death. And there is them phase shifting out, avoiding all damage. Here comes some Howling Banshee allies of the Bloodletters, but they get special attacks in the face. Again, that awesome special attack coming into play. The Farseer getting her gravity blade. That'd be really good against those enemy Banshees and those Bloodletters as well. Bloodletters now in retreat, which is a bit odd. He could have just worshipped them up, I think. Hmm, he's getting double shrines in here. Vindicare Assassin 
pushing forward a little bit. This guy's an elite sniper sub commander. Can take an all targets from range of huge burst damage, but is fragile. Picking off some heretics there. Brother Captain has the Nemesis Force Halberd. Splash damage, power weapon. Punishing sin. Heavy infantry for getting close. Has the mantle of terror as well. And his interceptors live, but he needs a way to try and control that plague champion, I think. He's got no way to do it so far. Red team taking a natural back. Knob squad running in. And there's a demonic summoning. That's going to allow these heretics to reinforce and those bloodletters will go to town as they come out of that. Up against those sluggers and he's backing them up with some worship there. Good play from Adila. Gets rid of the sluggers. Knob leader survives or does he? Raythor trying to get a shot in but he can't. And those two shrines live and these things will spit out those doom bolts that you saw there. You can worship them for the doom bolts to fire fast. They also give a defensive buff to Adila's units. Not allied units, only Adila's. And that defensive buff stacks I think. You can have a maximum of three shrines but I'm not sure if it stacks additively up to 30% or it stacks differently. Wraith God backing away. Good tool for taking down those shrines if they can get close enough without being tied up. Interceptors are suppressed really badly. These guys get into level 2. That was the rod of what fire you saw there from Adila's sorcery. It also has the icon of Zinch 279-375. He's keeping the pressure up here in Milti. Maybe it's time for him to start thinking about transitioning to the center. And it seems like Myrodow's already made that decision. He's center most of the time now. And you have to do that after a while on this map. One of the shrines goes down. This one just about clinging to its warp infused structure with 13 hit points. There comes Sluggers. There's the levitation from the gravity blade. That's going to wipe these banshees. Really good play from Myrodow. Or does it? No, it doesn't. I oh, did. It it's the Warlock that lives. It's painful. Great Lord being chased down by Storm Boys who have their knob leader and he has a heavy melee knife and that's a noxious cloud. Haywire as well. Or top drop to try and help this Wraithlord out and it does force off the storm boys. And that's a noxious cloud in retreat path. Nasty. And he's moving it now as well after those sluggers taking out the storm boys as well. Down goes the knob leader. Can he finish these guys off? Not quite. 275, 340. That's pretty painful though for Kasuke. Plague Champion level 4 does not have his Mucus Discharge for heals but he's constantly doing damage with the Icon of Nurgle and he's taking shots from the Vindicare Assassin. Does he get away? He's almost level 2. Looks like he will get away. Bloodletters trying to finish him off with a retreat but that's risky. Interceptors are there. Can he finish them off? If they were a bit more lively they would have but they do teleport in to get the last shot. Yes they do. Havocs. Suppressing them, but it's not enough to prevent the loss. Now the plank champion going to town. And this is a dead incident. The interceptor squad definitely disrupts the havocs. Does he get away? I think he does. Wow, I thought they were gone for sure. But he had that teleport, of course. Or maybe not. Dark flames in retreat path from a dealer. Out of spite, I think, for wiping his blood letters. Or one of his blood letters. But they do get away. To double cap indeed for red team. Plague Champion is down now. Quite enough. Backing away. I don't think that shrine's really paid off. It needs to be a, needed to be a bit further back, I think. 185, 340. It's a good map for the Nurgle Shrine, though. You could put one around here or so, or here. So we'll see if Unky Milty comes mid and does that. He seems to be intent on keeping the pressure up on. Red Team's natural at the moment. He's decapped it, and there's the Canticle of Absolution, which doesn't do damage. It just prevents ability usage on enemies and also regenerates allied energy. So really good synergy with Interceptors, but he's he's lacking units here. Whitehead just Strike Squad and Interceptors right now. His top heavy tier one hasn't really paid off. Losing the Interceptors, Justicar, 
and there's touch of Nurgle on the Heretics, nothing you can do about that, he needs to get the hell out of there. 172340 kicking off mid and on the west side. Adela in full retreat. Wraithlord needs to back away. Red team retain the mid. Can they get their natural back? Yes, they can. It's time for Mr. Milty to come mid, I think. Get some support with a Nurgle Shrine, maybe even a turret. He is doing well against Whitehead, but it's still going to be difficult to keep hold of this VP. He's a come mid and help out, I think. We'll see what happens, though. Slugger's going after little Eldar stuff. Stormboy's in retreat. These guys still alive somehow. Smack. Raidford doing big splash damage with that ghost glaive melee weapon he has. Wrist mounted shuriken catapult as well. And another full retreat for Kasuke pushing way too far forward again. And you see, you see what this is going to happen now? Red, blue team are going to take mid because Kasuke full retreated. Where's Myrodal? He's helping out on the west side a bit and now he's in full retreat and this is going to let blue team back into the game. Adila decaps, there is the canticle which really screws over heretics, they can't worship, they can't barrage, they can't doom blast. 149340 and Bloodlet is trying to cap mid. Warlock going after these Warp Spiders of Myrodal and Blue Team will take back the centre and that could be a turning point. Here comes another shrine from Uncle Milty this time, this is a Nurgle shrine. Should have put it further back I think but we'll see how he does with it. Need to worship it to allow it to reinforce otherwise it will just heal and heal allies and suppress, in suppress enemy infantry. There we go, has no effect on vehicles which is unfortunate. Has a Chaos Predator though Milty with Mark of Corn. We have a Seer Council for Phoenix, and they're blobbing around this, just waiting to be nuked, I think. They can't nuke their red team. Kisuke has a knob squad, getting their knob leader. Elite tier 3 infantry could go toe-to-toe -to -toe anything in the game. Their heavy melee damage can rip anything to shreds. There's their knob leader. They've been infiltrated by the commando knob. But as you can see, when the knob leader popped in there, he wasn't infiltrated. That's from the global ability and that is nasty, that's a warp throw. And that is a Land Raider Crusader from Whitehead, he's dropping it right into the fray. And this is a great drop by him. It's all kicking off mid, big time. Land Raider Crusader drops in, Hurricane Bolters on the sponsors, Twin Links, Assault Cannon and the Multi Melter. And this thing does allow you to reinforce, regenerate your energy and health, but it doesn't allow you to retreat back to it like the Redeemer, still a great land raider though. Down goes that Wraith Lord, massive engagement here. Bloodlet is teleporting in. Fire Prism, what's it doing? It's shooting at some retreating. Seer Council I think. They're trying to repair this Nurgle Shrine, keep it up, which will help them stay in the field here I think, but Red Team surely have the mid back. Don't think Blue can hold against this. Such an awesome Crusader drop from Whitehead. He was under such pressure on that side, but why did his time and knew that the Crusader was going to make a massive impact? And it has. Red Team retake the mid, I think. Yes, easily. This Predator is done for. Milty did not put it back quickly enough. Some melee attacks from the interceptors, and it's going to go down having trouble pathing through those heretics which were retreating there which is unfortunate but I think it was done for anyway because they could have just and they couldn't have set a point after it so it might have got away if it was really lucky there massive engagement level 3 Markov Zeech CSM what is Milty gonna do now well had Whitehead under so much pressure for so much of the game and Whitehead somehow keeps his interceptors alive and then drops a crusader in your face Brother Captain, almost level 4. Great unclean one on the way for Adila. They need a plan. They need a plan to deal with this Crusader. They need less cannons and stuff. We have an also cannon. Or some Siege Predators. Or a Bright Lance. Or some Warp Spiders from Phoenix to haywire it. An Eldritch Storm would be great. But he, he's a way off getting the red for that. Here's the Great Unclean one from Adila. 
so you cancel going to work, fighting sluggers. Sluggers do not want to fight that. There's an ethereal slash from the warlock, which made of Conus, Providence, and Warp Throw. Has that build going on? Does the Autark get away? She just about does. Wraith God for Myrodal with Wraithbone. Fire Prism gets a big. No, does not use the disruptive shot, use the focus shot, which kills four heretics. There's the foul snare from the Great Unking One. Soup unit for chaos. Huge amounts of super heavy infantry armor hit points. And some nasty abilities as well. And it is a demon, so you can worship that big fella. 109, 310. We're way up in mid, a couple of shields as well. What do we have from Kasuke? Nothing else yet. Has not given his command of any war gear either. Crusader now coming back to the west side. Big brouhaha. We have those interceptors teleporting in, unable to disrupt the terminators, of course. And Uncle Milty, is he going to get lightning claws for these guys to go up against those knob squad? And of course, tear apart these interceptors. We will see. Chaos Terminators also for a deal as a great and clean one, and Terminators. Surely one of them is going to get lightning claws for that knob squad. Can't actually afford them yet, Adila. He has so much stuff. Look at the upkeep. Great Unkling One having to back the hell away here. He might use his Cloud of Fire Zero and then back away. Lockdown and damage over time from the infection. And it infects all this stuff, but that's a Land Raider supporting them. Land Raider needs repairs though a little bit. Wow, Great Unkling One being chased here. He's in trouble. There's a crack grenade on him as well. He really is in trouble here, being chased also by the Brother Captain, which can support that Nob Squad with his We Are the Hammer. Is that a dead Great Unkling One from there? That's a that's really unfortunate. 83, 310, 2 to 1 cap for Red Team. They might see this game out now. Great Unclean One now under worship. He doesn't Yeah, he has two grenade launcher heretics, so he can't doom blast the knobs to control them. But the Great Unclean One does live. Brother Captain, where are you up to, sir? You need to go out oh, there, there we go. So it does live. A long chase. And they have to retreat out. Do any of these guys have claws? No, nope, we have an auto pen for Milty. Wow, look at the damage to that strike squad. Level 3 to strike squad with a side cannon. Plague champion almost level 6, getting the armor of pestilence. Trying to keep the pressure up on his VP, but red team will take it back. And a decap blue team's natural as well. 43, 310, blue team have huge VP deficit to make up. Terminators are capping mid though. What is this? It's Grey Knight Terminators on the way for Whitehead. This Crusader being chased down here by Chaos Terminators, forcing melee combat with their Power Fist. There's a stun grenade from the Commandlob trying to help out, which did stun the Terminators. Interceptors teleporting in. There's Touch of Nurgle from the Heretics. There's the Doom Blast to knock the Commandlob off the Cap. Can he finish him off now? Almost did. They were suppressed by the land raider. Ouch, those hurricane bottles do suppress, and there's the death explosion from Touch of Nurgle on retreat. You can use Touch of Nurgle to save your retreating squads a lot of the time. Farseer level 6 has Gravity Blade, Armour the Assyrian, Time Field could come in very handy, and has Ghost Hell. Weber Gate has been spotted, but his Terminator is getting a bit too close to. A lot of nasty stuff here, having to teleport out. The Canic is still hitting him from there though. Look at the range this thing has. 43, 249, 2 to 1 cap for blue team. Can they hold on here against Nobs, a Crusader, Land Raider Crusader, and Grey Knight Terminators now? You have their Libra Demonica. Warlock getting suppressed, but he has Providence up, so he's going to be spamming that Ethereal Slash and Warp Throw. There's a Singularity as well. Canticle Absolution is also up. That's a really good counter to Providence. Couldn't use any of his abilities there. 43, 230. Great on Key 1 back in the field. Going to finish off the Brother Captain, I think. Yes. Here come Grey Knight Terminators, and these guys do splash damage power melee. So they are doing some good damage to this Great on Key 1. They also drain energy. 
but do they drain energy from a great king? Well, it looks like they are doing it. You see the drain energy hexagon, that blue hexagon underneath the great king one there. And he is being smacked around by those terminators. Look at that. There's an Eldritch Storm to finish off that land raider, definitely. Strat squad in retreat. Down goes the great king one. This guy will now explode on death. Damaging enemies and healing allies, and it does a lot of damage. Nothing will be hit by it, though, I don't think, unless that Bononob stays there and it kills him outright. Almost took all of his hit points. Good grief, how much damage does that thing do? He must have had at least about 600 hit points then. 43, 161, that was crazy. Singularity now on this Chaos stuff. One Terminator lives. And that might be a dead Terminator because here comes an Avatar. Have they used their teleport? No, nope, there we go. They saved. 43, 145. Gravity Blade does nothing. Terminators, Green Knight Terminators that is, will try and cap mid to give a 1 to 1 to Red Team. Myrdal can try and revive the two Allied Commanders. Yeah. We'll get him to level 8 at least. Level 7 pass here. Avatar coming back to mid now. Grey Knight Terminators do finish the cap. Need to back the hell out of there though. Taking shots from an auto cannon. Slugger's still alive for Kisuke. Level 3. Double shooters tearing into those Terminators as well. Level 4. Terminators have very good natural resistance though to piercing damage since they are super heavy infantry. Avatar's duking it out. 41-132. Did Adila ever get claws? He did not. They both went for auto cannons. That was a mistake, I think. The melee terminators are, are much more risky to use, but I think they needed a what at least one lightning claw to really put the pressure on this knob squad. Kazuka has so much resources. What is he waiting for? He can get anything, get a battle wagon or something, or a couple of looted tanks. Adila with Havocs and Terminators now. Some Plague Marines on the field for Uncle Milty. 41 1 2 1. He's keeping the pressure on this VP, isn't he? He's getting up on Nurgle Shrine as well. Suppressing those interceptors. What are you doing, heretics? Go fight the interceptors. There we go. And he's going to wipe them. Finally, the interceptors go down. Wraith Guard coming in, trying to instantly take out that shrine. Is that two volleys and it goes down? Plague Marines tying them up in melee combat. Meanwhile, mid, the avatar of Myrodal is in trouble. Nob Squad going after the avatar now. He does splash damage with his massive Wailing Doom sword thing. There's the Wrath of Cain. 30 115, a single cap for Red Team. Is this the end of the game here? No, it isn't. There's the 2 to 1. Blue Team might get a triple singularity on mid. There's an orbital. Lifts up the Plague Marines, but they can still cap while it's lifting them, but it will blast them away from the cap, and it catches a couple of Terminators as well. 28-107, Whitehead has nothing on the field. He's getting some more Terminators. Really has had a up-and-down game, Whitehead. Started off with a lot of pressure from Uncle Milty, lost his purgation, and lost a bunch of other stuff, lots of losses then dropped that Land Raider Crusader in the face of Blue Team and did really well with it until that Eldritch finished it off. Had some Grey Knight Terminators also doing well finishing off a Great and Clean one but now he's down to nothingness. Just his command who's level 6 and is going to be reasonably scary with that Halberd has Unending Purge as well. 28-57 double cap for Blue Team. Looks like they're going to win this because Whitehead can't hold his VP without a bunch of help. Marcus Neach CSM level 4 as well. So they're going to do a lot of damage to these Terminators when they hit the field. Plague Champion level 8, almost level 9. He's got the Mucus Discharge and the Fist and Pestilence. So he's got two complete kits of war gear. 28 25 double cap for Blue Team. Uncle Milty losing his Plague Champion there. And his Terminators are pushed forward into all sorts of trouble where he does have the teleport available. Terminators are just going to try and take their natural back but 
It's a double cap and it's too late for red team. Blue team take it and there you have it. Let's look at the commanders at the end of the game. Level 3 Warlock, really? Only level 3? Adila Sorcerer on level 9. That plague champion level 9 at the end you saw down, go down with two full kits of war gear that you could switch to, swap through. The Sorcerer had the term of subjugation at the end. Brother Captain level 6. The Brother Captain himself did reasonably well. But Whitehead losing all of his stuff towards the end there. What, did, what was Kosuke doing? Why did he not buy stuff? Look at his resources. Do not get that at all. Could have got a couple of looted tanks, could have got a battle wagon, could have got two more knob squads. He got nothing. What was he doing? Was he? Did he just give up or something earlier? Myra Farcia, level 8. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.